Welcome back, and I suppose by the time you're watching this, Happy New Year. We have an Alfie. <laughs> so for me right now, it is December 31st, 2023, final day. And I think New Year's is an interesting celebration because everyone has different opinions on it, as I'm sure you've seen plastered over social media at the moment. For me, I like to have a little reflection. Usually it's with some journal prompts of the previous year, and then also in terms of goal setting, I feel like this is a hot topic. For myself, rigid, quantifiable goals don't work very well. I basically, I don't set goals, I set themes or ideas or suggestions, if that makes sense. If And maybe that's just a language piece. Maybe it, they are the same thing. But I find the word like goal setting, it like tickles my brain in a little bit of like, oh, my 18 year old toxic productivity self is like, ding, ding, ding. Some extra reason to beat myself up with. And I'm not here for that anymore. <laughs> so I have some themes that I'd like to take into the new year. I have some values I'd like to take into the new year. And I thought I would share alongside this vlog. I think this vlog will be a little bit of that, um, all those smun little, smun? All those fun little pieces that you kind of get to do as you transition from one year to the other. Or even just like a, a little in-depth reset, I suppose. Some of the things I'll be sharing for myself, like my personal goals, might be a little bit more vulnerable or maybe stuff that I don't necessarily see talked about online as much. But there might be, it might just be like me where I'm at in my life and what I see <laughs> and how I'm going to take that and use that to set myself up for success and happiness and a more easy existence really. <laughs> so I did some journaling obviously. Um, these ones that I use, the Leuchtturm bullet journals. Um, I don't actually bullet journal that much anymore but they're about 250 pages and they last pretty much to the day three months for me with the amount of journaling I do. So this is the new one that'll start tomorrow. Hello. With the new kind of goals that I'm setting. I also did invest in another five minute journal. I haven't used one of these in years. I've gone through many of them in my days and I just saw the green one and I was like, you know what? I want to add that to the collection. And also something that I think this is going to help with, with is it sits by my bedside and it means the first thing that I do in the morning is not go on a screen. And the last thing I do at night is not go on a screen. And even if this isn't the thing I do right before bed, it encourages me to be doing something more tactile, whether it's this, or then I grab a book afterwards rather than going back on my phone. Love that. And then I've also got my handy dandy wall calendar, which we'll be setting up as well. So with this, I just like to kind of put my work days, which days I'm working from home, which days I'm working in the office, social plans, workout classes, birthdays that's the big one is putting people's birthdays and kind of deadlines so I set up all my videos and everything and there's a little notes column I don't know this is quite poor lighting but there's a little notes column so that's where I can put those kind of like goals or deadlines that I have and break them down a little bit more if I need to but yeah I'm sure that your YouTube page is flooded with kind of new year's resolutions and how to be productive and how to do goal setting and all of that I don't think this is going to be one of those videos it's going to be more of me just kind of like sharing where I'm at you do what you need to do. If this gives you any inspiration or maybe a connection, <laughs> great, but I don't think this is going to be a how-to tool. I just find different journal prompts, I've spoken about this before, different journal prompts on Pinterest. So this one was, what are some dreams I have for this year? What are my non-negotiables? What will it feel like when I've achieved my goals? What do I want to do more of? What do I want to do less of? What habits do I want to do or create? What habits do I want to eliminate? That sort of thing where it's not necessarily what are my goals how do i break it down i'm not good at those i'm really <laughs> it's not my strong suit whereas for me if i kind of journal daily and keep those goals in mind it impacts my day-to-day -day habits but my day-to-day -day habits also afford me flexibility there's nothing rigid set in stone so if i just have this idea in my brain and i'm continuing valuing the importance of it and it comes up for me every day it usually impacts my actions so that works better for me than saying here's what i have to do because i'm not good at following this i have like structure and routine but i'm not good at being like things i have to do i don't know what that says about me but anyways i have three kind of main ideas for 2024 biggest one and this is the one i'm kind of more nervous about talking about because no one talks about it <laughs> is 
saving money. I went to school in 2018 and prior to going to school, I was such a little saver. I was so good with my money and then went to school, used up all of my savings for school and then had to take out a student loan to cover school and cost of living. And I feel like since then, I have not been, it's almost like when I had a lot of savings, I didn't spend as much. And now that I don't have many savings and I don't have much like to fall back on. It's like I'm worse with spending even though I have less and I don't know if it's a little like reward gratification thing. I don't know but it's like the less that I have the more I want to spend and I was really bad for that this year with just kind of like those little dopamine picking things up or just like impulse buys and I, I, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it when I get home. I don't, I don't enjoy that about myself and I know that it's not always been that way and I don't know what it is there must be something behind it but it's like the less I have the more I spend I don't know why <laughs> so yeah this year this is kind of two goals but I basically I'd like to save some money and kind of get my feet under me and have some something in my bank account and just have a little bit more financial stability for myself and then I'd also that is kind of feeds into that kind of my second goal which is quality over quantity and this is going to apply to multiple different areas of my life but one of them will be things that I own pieces of clothing pieces of furniture pieces of like even this is great this is tried and true I love this things things people experiences that's the second piece that I'd like to really focus on in 2024 is that quality over quantity I think I was listening to a podcast and it was, it was, oh, it was the Grace Beverly podcast, Working Hard or Hardly Working. I'll link the episode down below, but it was a YouTuber who I love, Lydia Millen talking. And she brought up the word luxury and the way that she defined it just absolutely tickled my brain. And she was talking about how it's about gratitude and really appreciating the things that you do have. The things that are around you and just like really like really loving and using and that's luxury and I really loved that definition and I would love to I'd like to kind of carry that into my quantity or quality over quantity and that appreciation and gratitude piece I don't want to buy the cheap and cheerful pieces I'd like something I have quite a few pieces of clothing that I've accumulated over years then they've lasted so long like that Christmas dress I wore to the Nutcracker I've had that for years and it Every time it gives me the same sensation when I put it on, I'm like, mm, this is perfect. And that's what I want with the things around me. And I don't want just lots of different options. I want a smaller selection of beautifully curated me types of things around me. And I think that will also help me with saving. <laughs> saving some money. Um, and then if I am purchasing something, it'll and it might be on the higher end of that it might be the better quality higher end i'm not gonna feel guilty because i have thought about it because you don't buy the nice pieces impossibly you think about it you you plan it and i think that's going to help so those are the first two <laughs> the third main focus for me for 2024 is language and i'm not someone who can set a new year's resolution of like learn an instrument learn a new language it's not that that's not really what I'm talking about I'm speaking more about how I speak to myself the words that I use when I'm describing things yeah just how I engage and use my language I think um and this will feed back into that quality piece I think the way that you speak about things the more detail and conscious effort that goes into your language around things people food makes a difference like if I just said oh, I'm gonna have some toast it doesn't inspire much confidence or romanticism or appreciation <laughs> I mean it does for some whereas if I go into detail and put effort into how I'm describing it it's like actually I'm gonna toast some sourdough bread that has this like beautiful crispy texture on the outside and it's so squishy on the inside and there are little seeds flecked in and then I'm gonna spread some butter on it and then I'm gonna put all of these toppings and go into detail about what I'm gonna do with this toast it sounds so much more luxurious rather than 
that was my good mime um it makes it more of a yeah i think the language that you use makes it more of a moment it makes it more of something to be appreciated and it makes it more of an event really even just like the clothes you're wearing oh i'm just wearing like a a light colored top i'm just wearing a top no it's got this like nice ribbon or uh, ribbing in it and it's this like nice oatmeal color and I, it's got a mock neck and just like going into detail making like taking up time with my words and even if it's just in my internal monologue <laughs> i think it makes a difference and i've noticed i feel better about myself or i feel better about everything around me it makes a difference with how i am experiencing the external world and i think it also helps with my internal monologue as well because you just you're getting used to a bigger vocabulary you're used to you're getting into the practice of appreciating things and really just soaking things in taking time and it's just less of a rush less of a hurry less of a it's just very it's all very intentional and I think that probably bridges across every piece that I've just mentioned there and that's probably not a particularly mind-blowing new year's experience or thought to have but yeah intention does make a difference maybe it is it's all just intentional just trying to be more intentional mindful soaking things up so showed you a few clips from this morning now i think we're going out this evening to meet with some friends to celebrate for new year's eve i will be transitioning this i've got some jeans on right now but i will be transitioning this into a skirt moment for later and until then, I think I would just like to put some fresh bedding on my bed, do my calendar setup, my room's clean, my bathroom is clean. I might do some hair and makeup for later. Bit of a disaster to be honest. And yeah, just kind of have a, a clean, easy start to the new year. I also love that the new year's starting on Monday. So this is a Sunday, so it's kind of like a, just a general basic Sunday reset with an extra flashy title really. But yeah, it's just most of the same things I do each week with the extra special added bonus of changing a calendar page. I will take you guys along. Thank you for listening to me waffle. This is, I know this was a, I'm, I feel very self-conscious about the fact I have, I'll think about what I need to say as I'm doing everything. And then I sit down in front of the camera and I'm like, words, how do they work? So I think even after I film this, I'm sure I'm gonna go back and think about five other things I knew I wanted to say about each point that I forgot. So thank you for bearing with me. I know it's a little bit vague sometimes, but hopefully the point comes across. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm the best at being specific, but we're working on it. That's part of the language. I'm gonna get better at it. Yeah, come along. Okay, we are replacing the light in my room. It's quite ugly right now. So my dad is helping me set up Oh, I'm going to do that towards me. The new one. Gift from Keenan. <laughs> it's got fingerprints all over it, so I don't mind, but that is... Okay, here is the New Year's outfit. Stole this from my mum. This is the ribbed top I was wearing earlier. And then I just have this satiny midi length skirt and then my boots from Steve Madden. They are the knee highs. Just tucked underneath. A little headband. And we are good to go. We have secured the alcohol. Okay, we're home now. I'm ready for bed. 
I was ready for an early night, but oh, that's sexy. Face wash, head bed, doze. See you guys in the morning. Oh, happy new year. <laughs> you need to go straight. Happy New Year's Day! We're going for a walk and um, I just cut Keenan's hair. The little under, under, under bits. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've ever used clippers. So I wouldn't call it um, professional, but. Neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Huh? I said, do you have any New Year's resolution? Um, no. Um, I don't think we're I being... I want to use a calendar more. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Stay organized. Time management. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Ooh. I always like New Year's because it's like... um. You get to see all these people with like really high hopes. <laughs> like it's like the refreshment of like these nice ideas. Everyone's just happy. Well, they're all just like so inspired and I like that. But I almost like, I know they're, I don't know. It's like keeping it sustained. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like different. I say my New Year's resolution, but honestly I did it a month ago. And I know, the ones that okay. I listed today, it was like ones I'd already started doing. No, like that cutie. Oh. The blonde ones get more cool. That's what I think. I'm just joking. <laughs> I wanted to make it sound like it was a person. Oh. Oh my word. What? That was so big. <laughs> no way. I have to go get it. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Ta-da! Why am I uh, so clumsy? <laughs> I just dropped Keenan at home um, at his house and today was really intended to be like full reset, show you everything that I'm doing but Keenan was here and I got to spend the day with him so I can't complain, it was a really nice day we went for a walk, we made some food, we watched the start of Harry Potter continuing our um, little marathon that we've been doing Drawer is not shutting. Hmm. Oh, I see why. Hat in the bag. Anyways, so yeah. That is something I'm also trying to be more aware of. I feel like I was really good at it like last year, 2022, where it was that kind of balance and flexibility with routines and still supporting yourself with the chaos. <laughs> but this year I really lost sight of that quite a bit. So, anyways. Today was lovely. 
didn't really showcase too much. I changed the calendar. Um, I was using this over the Christmas season as my sort of general purse. This we put away and get back to the regular non-sparkly purses. And I'm just gonna have a shower, like a deep, deep clean, do a little scalp scrub, maybe a hair mask, nice little face wash those little like physical self-cares and then I'm also gonna pack up my bag for work tomorrow and oh actually I haven't done one of the most fun parts that I was most excited for one moment oh this was in my bag as well it was the cork from yesterday's wine it was the whispering angel we bought which I've heard some good things about but I typically don't drink but I had two glasses last night and I didn't feel drunk didn't like it was just like I think I would have been perfect if I had one because I had a second glass and it didn't, well, didn't impact me like feeling drunk but I did feel like quite ill going to bed last night so I may, I'm just not I'm not built for drinks <laughs> but anyways um, they had this cork and it had 2022 on the top so I think I'm going to keep this because this is the year that Keenan and I got together so I'm going to see if over the years I can find a different cork each year with the year on it and then maybe just display them but anyways so started my new journal today very exciting however this is the old one and these are just the ones from this this year I don't know if you can see oh actually maybe it's five a year but they all come with stickers on the side and you can just put the dates so add this one to the pile but yeah each journal comes with these little stickers which I just leave in the back pocket until I'm ready to use them otherwise I think they would just like really fray and look a bit dingy I'm not I'm a bit rough on my journals so <laughs> right, let me see if I can tilt this down a little bit it's a bomb site that is the um contents of my purse just spread out across the bed there this is satisfying. I'm glad I remembered to show you guys this. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, okay. Whole other thing, trying to get it straight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. And then it's on the pile now with the others to be put away and stored you can probably hear my mum and dad watching a film outside they notoriously watch films so loudly i was also this is supposed to be going up tomorrow so i think tonight will be a bit a bit of a big editing evening i guess we sort of sort of had a bit of a chat about new years and my my ideas around new years <laughs> And yeah, I definitely think I need to get better with, like I have my intentions and plans on the camera. Maybe I just need a script or something because I really just get in front of the camera and I'm like, what was I going to say? And then it just becomes a little bit, um, a little bit waffly and I know what I want to say and I'm maybe not as eloquent as I would like to be. I'm not as eloquent on camera as I am in my head. That's a, a big thing. That film is so loud. <laughs> But yes, this is the first vlog of 2024, off to a, a stumbling start, and thank you guys for watching. I think as of right now, we're gonna do the Tuesday uploads, we'll keep that, and then... Oh, yes, I also did the intro, my new intro, the winter. I was thinking that was a big idea I had that Keenan helped me film over the break, was a seasonal sort of visual introduction each each season. I know in Canada, in Canada, the seasons are quite pronounced, so I thought it would be nice to showcase them. I'm thinking about spring, which I would like to start in like March or April, but depending on how that goes, how the weather goes out here, sometimes winter lasts until May, sometimes we get something in March, so we'll see. But yeah, I wanted to try the new intros and try and do that. I saw quite a few people do them over Vlogmas, which I really, really liked, so I was like, I want to carry that into a year-round thing because I thought they were lovely. I really enjoyed them. So yeah, that was the premiere of that today. <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. 
thank you for watching don't forget all the usuals the likes the subscribes the uh, comments etc etc um and yeah see you next week happy new year <laughs>